day 23, after getting some sad news about um, an acquaintance, um, I mean, that doesn't motivate any of my behaviors, but that is how I start my day. Uh, and then we decide, okay, um, let's think about some stuff. We talk about some CNN, it's the CNN article um, that annoys me, whatever. It stems from my commitment to skepticism of self. Apparently, I'm so skeptical of myself for intellectual and moral reasons that I think are valid that if someone tells me I can't do something, I basically believe them. That's the unintended consequence of self-doubt. I need to figure out on an intellectual level how to maintain humility while still believing in yourself. I want to take this time to contemplate that so I can come back and give you guys an answer. As a species, we lack self-doubt, which is why I think we have so many social problems. The advantage of doubting yourself is that you're less dogmatic, more reasonable, and more agreeable. The detriment, the danger, is that you may be too easily discouraged. There must be a balance that is both good for the individual and for the community, and I intend to find it. Um, I expect to figure out this skepticism problem. How do you believe in yourself while also being open to criticism? Where, where do you draw sort of the line where, like, I'm no longer going to believe in this idea that I have or this aptitude that I have? Is that true, though? Have I asked on um, individuals? No, no, I think everything I just said might be bullshit. You're dumb. Or I am, I don't know. No, you are. Right, skepticism of the other. And, that, and that's where skepticism can become unhealthy. That's even where empiricism can almost become unhealthy. If somebody says that my idea isn't good, I'm not good at saying, no, I'm just going to continue with this idea nonetheless. And then the moment they respond, I'll, you know... I'll question whatever I was thinking, and, and this brings us back to the question. How can you be intelligently skeptical? How can you balance skepticism of self and other and... What it means to have healthy skepticism, like what... I mean, whatever the solution to the problem is, what kind of criteria does it need to meet? They can be me, but we already knew that. What we need to believe is that other people can be wrong too. What if there isn't a solution to the skepticism? balance thing. If everybody's skeptical of themselves, then you don't have to worry about being skeptical of yourself. No, bro. Well, I don't know. Maybe. That might be the solution, in which case I just need to dedicate myself to making people more skeptical of themselves. And maybe I even speak like that and don't even realize it. Do I? Or do I? That's the solution to the skepticism thing. After that, you can let it go. Maybe that's the solution to the skepticism. I'm critical of everything except for my basketball ability, or I'm critical of everything except for, in this case, my campaign about critical thinking. So that may be a little bit inconsistent of me. I have an idea about the skepticism thing. So maybe that's part four to the solution. You know, maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong, I don't know what their issue is, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, I feel like there's something to make of that that could support what Marsha's saying. <sighs> How do you suspend skepticism of self when you're advocating for skepticism of self, though? Since we can't know for sure, we just keep working on it. That's right. That people can be wrong, and I need to apply the same skepticism that I apply to myself to other people. So maybe they're not such assets. If I might be ignoring valuable feedback. I mean, maybe it's just struggling. Maybe it's making the same face I am now. Maybe it's just mimicking me. I don't know. What if you apply skepticism to yourself? Who am I to judge? I know that. I know that. If you don't doubt yourself, you can't become better. Yes, yes. Right? It just depends on who I talk to. Some people be sure of one thing, some people be sure of another thing. I'm still gonna be a scientific-minded person. But, but fuck doing all the doubt for everybody. I don't know what part of my thinking is just a bullshit attempt to justify going home. It is no longer intellectually justifiable to believe that people are... Maybe that one doctor was right, I should just work in Walmart. No, 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 no. Don't even waste time on that kind of thing. I showed you one advantage of skepticism of self thing, that, that math problem. So I, I should look at that again. Maybe they just do a nod here. Which I'm not gonna, which is probably just because that's just the way we use adjectives. Which is terribly sexist and terrible of me. No, wait, 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 wait. Tent is about completely collapsing. I haven't been able to sleep much. Um, oh, fuck all of this. Uh, uh. Uh. All right, man.
and tent's fully collapsed. Um, I'm not fucking buying a new tent, or maybe I will, I don't know. We just get a hotel room for the weekend and we just read it right. <sighs> and then on Monday we head back. I think we can do that. <sighs> the goal is never to fix our productivity issues. The goal is never to fix our productivity issues. But we can make that our August goal back at home. Yeah, this wasn't about taking vacation. It was about it was about learning from the struggle, and I think we learned from it. Of course, I just worry that you know that the struggle is just starting and we're wimping out. You know, now that our tent is collapsed and we're in a country where it's fudging hard to get anywhere, and it is risk of fines. We don't have our socks on, but let's meditate. Oh, I am a fucking cool. Uh -oh. We got a battery, put our phone on the charger, and um, let's go meditate, or let's meditate here. It's nice, isn't it? Damn, I like that, dude. Even if I didn't like him, it's sad that um, we got to look into this. I just saw that um, we weren't friends. We just had some mutual friends and hung out like maybe twice, three times. He said we got along well because we we're both assholes. Yeah, I can tease people. I can be that guy. And I have been at the hostel when people say stupid shit over the past few days. I'll tease them for it. In fact, the night when I had everybody around and we were playing um, shithead and everybody was like partnered up and teaching it to their partners. Someone said, I know, I, I know that, I know you can be nice. Or, or, um, everybody's saying you're nice. Something like that, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I mentioned, um, that that kid went missing, right? I think, um, maybe not, I don't know. But, uh, just saw one of my friends, uh, posted Rest Easy. Country slash region, Tunisia. No, France. Anyway, so let's, um, that's 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 sad. Damn, he was a real good dude. I don't know. He is a real good dude. I don't. We don't know what happened yet. They pulled the body from the water, but we don't know um, whether it's him. I mean, somebody does, but that hasn't been released yet. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're just gonna do it. 2 p.m. is check-in. Probably gonna go to sleep when we get there. And maybe we'll write tonight. Not sure how we're gonna do it. Let's let's get there. See whether it's possible to check in any earlier. Yeah, and we'll go from there. Right now I'm tired. Depending on how I get home. Cause maybe if I don't hitch home. Mother's calling. Fuck you so much, CNN, for all the misleading titles and article beginnings. And BuzzFeed. Y'all are pretty much the same thing. It's all this talk about, or not all this talk, I saw one article and then Googled it. About a loose dog that Arlington police shot at. That's what they say, a loose dog. Arlington police officer kills woman while shooting at her dog. Arlington police officer kills woman, um, while aiming, while trying to fucking murder a loose dog. Bro, I couldn't see that video very well. I'll look at it when I get to the hotel. But from what I saw, that was a mean looking dog that was fucking running at that officer, going for a bite. Okay? It's not the same thing. It's not a loose dog, not her dog. 
It's a fucking dog attack. Oh, I'll shoot while well, shoot while well, shooting at a dog. No. While well, shooting at a dog attacking you. Now, that said, do I believe that the officer should have shot the dog? Fuck no. There's a woman behind the dog. He should have run for his fucking life. Or, well, I don't know actually what he should have done. Pulled out his mace, I guess. I don't know. But officers, they're looking out for number one. That's what I just posted. It's like police officers, their job is to walk around, talk shit to people, get themselves into shit and then protect themselves. Their job is to protect themselves. They're just regular humans trying to protect themselves, except they have weapons, armor. They have weapons, protective gear, and instigate shit. They go put themselves in situations just so they can protect themselves. That's what it's like sometimes, often enough. Because if you're, if, if, if you, if a guy reaches into his pocket, if a guy even fucking charges you with a knife, you are a police officer. You know, if you apply the same logic to the other guy, you don't know whether he's done anything wrong. He's just there. And he reaches into his pocket. You know, police approach him. Holy shit. Okay, a man with a gun is approaching me. Let me reach in my pocket and give him my ID. Wow, there is a man now pointing a gun at me. That citizen should have every right to fucking throw that knife there. I'm talking about rights. I mean, if we apply the same logic that we apply to, um, that police have. Two people, neither of them knows anything bad about the other, so no reason to be protecting themselves, you know? All I know is that you have a fucking gun and you're pointing it at me and I've got nothing. And if I had a gun and I was pointing it at you, I would be dead. God, everything is such trash, dude. Uh, the fact that such an intelligent woman could say, emotion may be a better way to convince people. And I told her, no, 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 hold on. We're agreeing that right now emotion works better, but should it? She was like, yeah, I think there's a lot of value. Emotions are very indicative. Get yourself out of shame with more emotion. Like, wait, wait, you just logic us out of it. Rather than even spending time trying to figure out whether she's right, we've given it a look over. You should, you know, the more absurd something seems, well, the advice I would have given you before this trip is that the more absurd something seems to you, the more you should look at it. The more clear it seems to you that you're right, the more you should reevaluate. Because when things, when you, when it is so clear you're right, you you just can't see it. It's like, this sun is bright, right? This sun is clearly the sun, right? It's so clearly the sun that I'm missing a lot. I'm missing details about it. Can't even look directly at it. I'm missing details about these mountains, etc. Because I'm just, wow, overwhelmed with how clearly the sun it is. Now, of course, it is the sun. But, could be a... Gosh, okay, my, 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 my metaphor shit doesn't work. Well, no, I mean, it could be a flashlight, I don't know. No, 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 no. When things are clearly the case, when you are struck with their truth, I think that feeling could come from a lot of assumptions and just like certain glaring aspects that could eclipse other important details. That's what I'm trying to say. Wish I could think of a good metaphor. Kind of reminds me of too good to be true. I don't know. Anyhow. So I, I should look at that again. But that's not what this trip's about. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe she's wrong. She doesn't know. She may. She was kind of skeptical of herself. Probably not as much as I am. Definitely not. But yeah. So... What are we gonna do now? I mean, we could spend a bunch of time and eventually maybe figure out that she's wrong. I mean, that she's right. But you know what? Nah, let's just develop our idea while she develops hers. Don't, just don't poop. Um, let's develop our idea. She'll develop hers and you know, we make our contribution um, to, the, to the work, I mean, not to the world. Not like 
we submit. Mm. Not like we submit our idea and then she submits hers and you know, no, no, no. I mean, we'll do our side of the research and then we'll compare answers later, okay? Yeah. Yo, this vest is offensive. It has a sharp smell. And the smell isn't necessarily bad. It's, sh I mean, it's blunted, but still like pretty sharp. Or it's like comes to a point, a blunted point. We'll say we need to stay away from people in society. All right, let's head down. I could give a shit about lyrics. Jack and I were talking about our musical preferences. You know, he said he likes lyrics. He said he likes good lyrics. That if they're talking about n'importe quoi, n'importe quoi. N'importe quoi. N'importe quoi. That he doesn't like it. I could give an absolute shit about lyrics. And I told him I know smart people are supposed to like lyrics. I like voices. I like the human instrument. Do not give a shit what you are saying. As long as it sounds nice. That's what music is for me. Music isn't poetry or story, although that can have an added benefit. Music is, and it can be sort of a, it, maybe there's a nice progression. No, no, don't even need that. Don't even need a story that like you'll hear in an instrumental, right? It builds up and then blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's cool, but um, certainly don't need you to uh, say anything brilliant. I think that's all a bit silly, that whole expectation. Or not expectation, but even that value seems a bit silly for that to be a defining characteristic of good music to you. It's like telling me you like texture with your art. You like it to be, to be able to touch it, literally touch it. You like your art to be tactile. No. No, no. You can definitely add something short, 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 short. But I'm okay if a painting is 2D. Literally, it can, you know, maybe if it looks 3D, that's cool. But I'm okay if it's literally 2D. I was talking to this engineering Floridian student at the hostel last night. Because Jack and I went back to the hostel. And I just got myself situated. And explaining sort of the thinking I was doing. We talked about skepticism and stuff. And one thing led to another. We talked about consistency. That people respect consistency. Respecting consistency can be okay. The problem is when you respect consistency with what a person previously said. Rather than consistency with the latest information. As information changes. A person's going to have to be both consistent and inconsistent. Either that person can be consistent with what they previously said and therefore inconsistent with the new information or that person can be inconsistent with what they said and consistent with the new information good understand okay great oh and maria didn't send me a message so i kept imagining that as i decided like right before either i booked a hotel or as I decided to return home, get a message. Come talk, let's finish our conversation in, in Athens. And then make sweet, sweet love to me and my black tooth. And I've been like, ah, don't remind me about that. But yes, absolutely. To the one. I often talked about you and your oneness, my loneliness. No. I think I just did that for the poetry. I said that for the poetry of it just now, but mostly your oneness. And people always told me they didn't think that there was only just one person. And so I dated one in ones in hundreds, you know? Each girl I dated was one in a hundred. And then I met you, my one and only. And Oh, this is the park, the adventure park. I'm at the hotel. Why does my face hurt? We'll see whether they um, let us check in. 
Maybe we can at least leave our bag. Maybe we'll get some McDonald's. I just really don't know what I feel like doing. Sleeping or what? Just confirmed that in by searching on Google, where other people have had the same experience and felt comfortable writing articles about it. So, which means it may, you know, probably they probably talk to people about it. One Canadian woman even said that Italians themselves make jokes about um, how much they stare. They just like to stare, or they're just comfortable staring at it. I mean, it relates to another converse thing we talked about, about culture. Not about culture, about staring. All right, so the room is ready. Good thing that we asked. So we asked and they were like, you know, because how fuck this I'll explain it when we get into the room. But basically, it was just cool, we asked. You know, I think the old me would have just said, okay, 2 p.m., okay, no problem, that's it then, ciao. I think it's the weirdest fucking thing for people to just not respond when you say hello. I don't know whether it was like that before I moved to Paris or whether that's a, a new thing. Fuck me in France, you don't not say hello. Maybe they just do a nod here. You know, when I say hello, I don't normally actually sort of greet them. Oh, by the way, while I was in McDonald's, I was watching YouTube. I really think I could make a go of this. I've been watching a lot of Tosh.0, which has introduced me to some celebrity. I was watching the mukbang guy, and uh, then reported the week, and then Fantano. Ciao. And Fantano's video is actually a bit like this. All right, bye. This is where I left my backpack and bow. That is not an easy thing to lift, especially if you don't put it on. I guess they just want to keep the area clean. Shit, I should have helped them in. I wish I had known. I make it to my room. Oh, the price is. Mmm. Suka. Smoothie fruta. Come in. Acha. Ciao. How do you? Okay. It's heavy, huh? Alright, I'm up. So, what shall we do? I'm hungry. Let's go to McDonald's or something. Mom can get us something to eat. Damn, I should have gone back and gotten some spicy stuff on it. This would be so good if it were spicy. But no, I don't check my messages. If I don't get an alert about it, I don't find out about it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more.